We are close to Baden-Baden, to the French border. We are not allowed to go uh, over the border today. <laughs> These guys behind the camera already checked that out today. <laughs> Um, yeah, still no races, but the race bike is uh, ready at least. And um, because I found my uh, race suit completely unpacked today, I thought it's time to, to use it. And uh, my partner Tupi came up um, uh, with a couple of ideas to, to do some test races and stuff like that. I'm not that much of a fan of test races, swift races and Strava comps, but Today I'm going to do a 100k time trial um, on a pretty flat road here, uh, just slight wind and uh, I'm not going to go as fast as possible but I just try to go a little bit over 40k an hour and we're going to collect some, uh, some data and use that 100k time trial to get back on the, on the race bike again and also collect some, uh, some data. Um, so what we do is uh, we are uh, going to use this uh, sweat pack. Um, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. You have uh, five different patches on five different um, um, yeah, body positions and um, you can analyze later um, uh, what, what the natrium um, sodium, sodium concentration in your, in your sweat is. And that's important to know um, to uh, dial, dial in your, uh, your race nutrition um, because it's very important if you have too uh, low amount of sodium in your, uh, in your, um, in your drinks um, it can be pretty dangerous but even if it's just a little bit um, uh, too low carbohydrate um, uh, digestion might be worse you can't absorb that much um, energy but also liquid, um, uh, liquid absorb absorption <laughs> <laughs> you absorb less liquids um, and uh, also you, you're gonna have a lot of uh, problem with grams um, but also too, too much is not good because it will slow down your digestion and um, yeah cause a lot of other problems so it's very important to, to know that and it's actually quite easy to, to do um, by yourself and we're gonna do it in the field today so it's gonna be pretty realistic and then uh, also I want to establish a baseline because right now it's pretty difficult to, to test. Um, we would have loved to do a, a wind tunnel test in, uh, in Great Britain in Milton Keynes um, uh, also with some new equipment from, uh, from Scott but it would be uh, just very good to, to know um, right now to establish a baseline so for later changes we're gonna yeah we we know we just know what's what's worth uh, considering for the hopefully for the races late in, in the season and then we also collect some uh, aero data um, uh, with this aero pot on the on the front you see on the bike and yeah that's what we're gonna do today uh nervous uh no i don't think so but i'm excited because it i mean i i, I spent quite some time on the tt bike lately but all of it on some virtual world and my avatar. Avatar wasn't even on a TT bike though. Um, so it's quite a different feeling to be on, the, on a TT bike and with like full spec aero helmet. I shaved my legs late, uh, yesterday. Haven't done that for almost two and a half months now. <laughs> and um, and the uh, race suit and everything and it just feels amazing and that's what what uh, what it's about today is go fast but with the lowest amount of um, power as possible and um, it's always it's always crazy to see how fast you can go um, on a TT bike if you are like in full race mode
fast. I would say it was actually quite quite fast. 100k in two hour 18 something. So that's 43.4 something average. And uh, actually my back hurts a little bit <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but it, it has been quite good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a good experience to be on the TT bike again with the full race setup because First of all, I just love the, the speed. It's always amazing how fast you can go with your, with your own power. And of course, we have to, to analyze the, the, the data and everything. Of course, I'm gonna post it later. No, probably not, but <laughs> um, yeah, we have to look into that. Um, and yeah, just, just learn, learning with the, with the new tools how to, uh, to really use them. and. I think it's good to, uh, to establish uh, a baseline now and, and see what we can do from, uh, from here on in the next couple of weeks. And also it, it was quite nice because it is some sort, it gives you a little bit of, of a race feeling. If I have you guys with me with the camera, it's uh, always a little bit extra motivation. And um, then uh, during the ride, I decided, yeah, I want to go at least 43 uh, average uh, would be nice. And of course, I collected some uh, hard-earned sweat um, samples. Um, it's pr actually pretty straightforward. You just peel off the, um, the pads and put them in the containers and then you can uh, send them, uh, them in and they, uh, they do the analysis for you. And you know, then you have the, the sodium content and you, you can easily scan the QR code and then you, you see uh, how this develops during the season. It's quite important to get started now. And, um, so that you have some some samples over over the whole year, especially when it comes to you know uh, different conditions, humidity, uh, temperature, and so on. But it's a good good um, place to start. I mean, that's a pretty good question. Uh, question actually, I don't really have a clue how the next uh, weeks gonna be like. Um, right now, we're still hoping that there will be some racing this year, and um, I'm. I'm pretty confident that there will be racing this year. I think not in August, um, and, but in uh, September, October, November, we probably might have, have some races. So for me, it's important to, to work on things that I will benefit uh, from in the, in the next like three, four months from, from now on, and on not in the, in the next couple of weeks. So I don't try to, to be in race shape in, in June, July, but I want to be in race shape probably in November. So we still uh, we are still in some sort of a standby mode and um, and try to work mainly on on weaknesses and uh, that's of course the the swim and then uh, I'm pretty happy that I I'm yeah to firing on all cylinders when it comes to to running. I don't have any problems anymore with my Achilles whatsoever. So I really enjoy that. And then, of course, um, doing some, some testing because uh, collecting data always helps and um, it also makes training a little bit more easy if you have like a deeper sense behind it. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of people ask me, uh, how do you stay motivated in these times? And do you have any advice how I can stay motivated? My advice is just don't stay motivated. There is no reason to be motivated all the time. You don't have to be motivated. It's off season right now. So therefore do something what you really enjoy. Don't spend all your time training, chasing whatever Strava comes or some five minute personal best power. It's all bullshit because you don't need it right now, honestly. <laughs> Just uh, enjoy being outside. Um, uh, yeah, do, do sport. I think it's really important to, to stay sane and it's always uh, therapy for me as well. So just enjoy this time where you actually don't have to be fit um, and you will be fit automatically. 